Sometimes people come into my office with pictures of themselves as children and they want to show me how innocent they were and how life has hardened them. There's this one person in particular I'm thinking of that by the age of three she was already being molested by her stepfather and I saw her at age 43 after years and years and years of molestation by different people in the family at age 3, 5, 8, 11, 15, 16, and 17. And these are the numbers that she kept saying over and over and over in my office when she couldn't talk because the pain was too great. She would just sit and doodle these numbers. And I didn't know what they meant for a very long time. She was referred to the office from an inpatient hospital program where she had spent the last three months trying to recover some balance. She had been um, self-abusive. She was a cutter and uh, bulimic, sometimes anorexic restrictive, sometimes compulsive overeater. She had one friend and two cats, a sister, some nieces, a father and mother that she chose not to see, and she was struggling to find a branch to hold on to to make life worth it. She clearly didn't think it was worth it three months ago when she severed her arm in 257 places. I've never felt a knife against my arm and never knew how tender it was. She used to keep a pocket knife in her jacket in case she felt like she needed to cut again. So she and I had to establish some rules. First of all, no cutting. Well, first of all, a suicide contract. Second of all, no cutting. I asked her for the knife one day and I sliced my arm, not realizing how incredibly sharp it was. And she started crying. And she said, oh my God, what did you do? Oh my God, you're good. You don't have to bleed. You don't have to bleed the bat out. You don't have to bleed the bat out. Oh my God, what did you do? And I looked at my arm, running with blood, and I bandaged it, and it hurt. And something miraculous happened between the two of us. I joined her world.